Welcome back to the Division 2. In this video we are going to be running through a heroic mission. I was asked to do this and I also believe I can give you guys some helpful tips along the way. I will be making a lot of cuts in this video, it's not going to be the like raw footage of the heroic mission because it's probably going to take about half an hour, but it's set to heroic, you can see that in the top left corner. I'm going to be using the pestilence mostly, but I might switch up if there's different situations to the glory days named P416. Like one of my biggest pieces of advice I can give for running heroic is try and stay out of the way of the skills, like the turrets and stuff that the enemies put down. Play incredibly patient. Maybe run the fixer drone or something that's going to give you some healing, especially if you're running solo. I would prioritize the fixer drone over the chem launcher. The chem launcher just doesn't seem to do enough now. And just make sure you're passive. Don't don't be too aggressive because obviously a lot of players are complaining that the enemies are bullet sponges. I don't necessarily think that they sponge too many bullets. You can see that I'm clearing this area at a, like a decent rate. It's not taking me too long, but I'm not doing it far too quick. So I, f I think the enemies are balanced out quite well. The only thing I believe could do with a tiny bit of a nerf, maybe... 2 to 4% is just a little bit of enemy damage output decrease. So the amount of damage they deal to us, I believe that's a little bit too much. So I'm literally just going to stand here the entire time, try and avoid all the grenades and stuff. I'm not going to push up. You don't want to be aggressive when you're doing heroic content because it will just screw you over. There's going to be times where you get screwed over anyway. And for a situation like that, that's when I get out of the glory days because it's much more accurate and it's a lot more stable. If I push up to here, hopefully they're popping their head. Can't get any shots. And if you guys are interested in my build, there is a video that I've done recently. It was the, like, the most previous video before this, the most recent one. That actually covers the build in depth. So if you want to see exactly what I'm running. That video is on the channel. Another good thing to do when you're playing solo. Is to make sure you prioritise your targets. So always go for the rushes first. Utilise cover as much as you can. Oh that's actually got some high rolled stats. But I'm not really interested in an urban MDR. I've kind of gone off rifles. It's just too much trigger spamming. At the moment, my favourite is to run an AR and LMG. I still need to get Petrov on my build. I've still got Overlord on here because I just... I don't really go for holsters. I'm doing this with backpacks because my backpack could do with a little bit of improving. Hopefully he ticks. He should tick to death. Come on, tick to death. Nice. And that's been passed off to another enemy. His turret shouldn't shoot me. He, oh, he did place a turret. Is that fully clear? It is. I'm almost watch level 63 and season's level 12. Okay, that's a tick to death. That sniper's going to die. Jesus Christ. There's the watch level up. Okay, that tick is going to kill that enemy. We might have a couple more spawn as I get around here, not sure. No, we're clear to go through. See, the, the same method of sitting back being more passive works as well solo as it does in a group. You've literally just, you've got to sit at the back. And if your build isn't clearing, like, because my build's not fully optimised. I'm not saying, oh, I've got a god build, I'm the best build in the world. But any sort of build, it might just take you a bit longer to deal the damage. But I do highly recommend going for a DPS build, especially with solo play. Skills, I mean, skills could be good because obviously the passive play is the better option. I, I don't think survivability builds are the way forward at the moment. I've not done too much research with them, but I have run True Patriot 
with a lot of armor, like 1.7 million, and I got shredded just as fast with that as I do with this build, and I've only got like 800 and something thousand on this. So if, if your build, like if you feel your build's a little bit too weak, like a little bit weaker than what you feel it should be to run heroic, then like just don't force yourself to play heroic and stuff. I only play heroic because I feel comfortable at this level. There are still some missions where I get killed fairly close to the end, so it's a wipe back to the beginning. Like you don't get any checkpoints in heroic until you get to the last boss. So just make sure you're comfortable. Even if you've got to run stuff on normal, the chances are going to be lower. It's going to take you longer to get a good build together, but you still have a chance of god rolls. They're not completely removed. You don't have to play the highest difficulty. Whoa, no, 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 no. Where's my hive? Where's... Really? Got to start all that all over again. Why did my revive hive not come out? I, I mean, they must have shocked it. Like, it, it couldn't come out because I was shocked. Ah, uh, see, like, one wrong move. I pushed up far too much there. If I didn't push up, if I sat back, I would have been able to pick that heavy off. But look, right back to literally the beginning of the mission. So, I'm going to get back to where we were, down in that, like, garage car park bit underground. So, I'll see you guys then. Okay, so we've made it back to the same place. Hello? This time, I'm going to sit back here. And the run in general just seems to be a lot faster than I did it the first time around. Is that armor broke? It is. But because the heavies have so much armor and so much health, the ticking damage, you can see it's over half a million right now. And it just doesn't seem to do much. There we go. You can't... Oh my god, look at the rolls on that! If that had God rolled LMG damage, I would just switch out the talent. Wow. That's insane. I'm just going to put the reload speed in my library. Literally, one mistake in a heroic mission can cost you the entire mission, so... You have to play passively. You can't play as aggressive as we could before Warlords. And it's, it's annoying. I, I understand people have jobs. Like, they don't play games for a living and stuff. They've got families. But even if you can put two hours a day into this game, you can get a good build together. Even if it's taking you a month to put it together, there's a bigger sense of accomplishment of doing it in a month than there is in doing it in a couple of days. But... The main point is that you can still get it done. It just might take you a little bit longer. See, like right now, I'm fighting this purple. I'm fairly low on my armor. So I'm waiting for my drone to come back. Not peeking too often. But I'm not even in the same room as the combat area. So it's by far the easiest way to just play it incredibly passive. Sit back, take your time with it. Don't take too many risks. But doing these, like, when I say don't take too many risks, I mean in the missions. Like, do the missions, take the risk of that, because it's high risk, high reward. You've seen the rolls I've got from some of the drops. It is 100% worth trying to push yourself to heroic, even if it's eventually. I'd recommend starting off at normal difficulty and working your way up. Like, until you're, when you're comfortable with normal, push yourself to hard. When you're comfortable with hard and how your build performs, push yourself to challenging. I pretty much just jumped straight into heroic and kind of built my entire build around playing heroic missions. But you don't have to do it like that because for me, a challenge is a lot of fun in a game. If someone's challenging, I enjoy it more. But I know a lot of people want to just play games for fun. So if killing enemies and surviving is more fun, then just take your time with increasing your difficulty. There's absolutely no shame in even playing story difficulty. That's the one thing I don't like about the Pestilence. It can be good sometimes, but I really, like, in general, overall, I don't like it passing the ticking damage off to drones. Or not drones, like skills and stuff. This is going to be the scariest part of the mission because if I don't make it past this bit, it's a full wipe back to the start. If I clear this area, 
We've just got the final boss area, which will give us a checkpoint. And don't ever worry about running out of ammo. There are so many restock crates in missions. I'm just going to pre-chuck a grenade in that door. I didn't do it fast enough. Get loads of stacks on that purple, and then I'm backing up. There we go. Objective complete. All I did was literally just sit off the top, wait for them to push, take some of them out, and then just pick my targets off from distance. And now we have a checkpoint. We are through to the final boss. There we go. You see in the bottom left, checkpoint reached. So if I die at this stage, I just reset to there. It's not all the way back to the start. Okay, my hive's working. Thank you. Jesus. No, my hive is... I'm so glad this is right at the end of the mission. I'm not even joking. I would have been pissed. Okay, I've done quite a lot of damage. I'm currently blind. Come on, keep those ticks going. And there we go, mission complete on heroic difficulty. Really? No god rolls? Oh, I just hit seasons level 13. So, just quickly having a look, it took 41 minutes for Heroic Jefferson Trade Center, 154 kills, my accuracy was shit, so ignore that, 641 million damage dealt. I took 25.3 million damage in the mission, I dealt 9.5 million to named enemies, skill damage dealt 305 million, I used the Fixer Drone, and I run the Revive Hive, which didn't actually work, I don't know why. I healed for 14.7 mil, 3 headshot kills out of 154, which is shocking. That's why I don't spec into headshot damage, I don't really go for headshots. That's why I prefer the crit chance and crit damage. So yeah, there's a little look at the stats, and as I said, all you've got to really do is just be a little bit more patient with the missions. They probably will take longer, but it's a new expansion, builds pretty much got reset. Every single thing we had at level 30 become obsolete. It, it was irrelevant after the update dropped. So keep working at your builds. Try and spec into, if you want to go survivability, go survivability. Get your armor, your armor regen. You can get some hazard protection, explosive resistance. If you want to go skills, the repair skills is good for healing stuff like the fixer drone, the mender, seeker mine, all the good stuff like that that gets you healed up, like the restorer hive. If you want to go skill damage, you can get skill damage, you can run the cluster seekers. And then the DPS builds, you've got weapon handling, crit chance, crit damage, headshot damage, weapon damage as a core attribute. There's a lot of different things to focus on, but if you know which build you want to run, and then you can go out farming for all the stuff, even if, as I said, even if you've got two hours per day, there's still plenty of time to get a couple of missions done. Do not start at the higher end of the difficulties. Start where you feel comfortable and work your way up. And the best piece of advice I can give for Heroic is to sit as far back as possible. Because if you're running around like a headless chicken, like we all used to do before Warlords released, then you're just going to get two shot. But that's going to do it for the video. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it helps you out. Thank you for watching.